Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is how to replace a three-wire condenser fan with a four-wire condenser fan. All right, so how do you do the wiring? How do you keep it so that this one dual capacitor, all right, that's going to take care of your hermetic compressor and your condenser fan? A lot of times, people, what I'm seeing is uh, people are using the dual capacitor, all right, just for the common and herm. So basically, they're just using the dual capacitor for the Herm and then they have a small capacitor zip tied on the side all right they're just run capacitors all right so you'll see another capacitor on the side well we want to do away with that we want just one dual run capacitor okay and that'll take care of your new condenser fan and your existing compressor all right so you can reuse the same capacitor if you want typically you're going to replace that if your new condenser fan is the same rating okay so this says cap of 10 all right at a 370 VAC so this particular one is a it says 45 plus 5 UF all right so it's 45 MFD for the hermetic compressor and 5 MFD for the uh, condenser fan so we're going to have to replace this with a 45 plus 10 MFD all right, and this one is a 370 VAC right here, okay, 370 VAC, so we can replace it with a 370 VAC or a 440 or a 370 slash 440. All right, so how you do this, I just want to show you real quick, all right, that the yellow, you trace the yellow out, and the brown with the white stripe. Okay, these two are actually connected inside of the condenser fan. So you actually don't need the brown and white wire. Alright, so I'm just going to put this on resistance just to show you. So you have your, your one capacitor wire right here. And your line voltage wire. Alright, so when I test the brown white wire and the yellow wire, we have 0.5 ohms of resistance. Okay? So these two are actually connected inside of the condenser fan motor. Alright? So what you're going to do with this one is you're going to actually just cut off, you're just going to cut off this one right here. Cut it, wire nut it, make sure the wire nut's inside the electrical cabinet. Alright? As far as the yellow wire is concerned. Uh, the yellow wire can either be connected onto the common of the existing capacitor right here. Okay, It'll say C on it and you see the other yellow wires coming off of it or it can be connected right to uh, this part of the contactor. Alright so this is 120 volt going in. Then you're going to have the other 120 volt the black wire right here that's going to go where this black wire is okay so you're going to have your yellow connected here or at the capacitor on the common terminal and you're going to have the black wire connected here to the other 120 volt leg 220 volt legs is 240 volt okay this brown wire is wire nutted okay and it's inside of this cabinet and then you just have your other brown wire which is right here is just going to go onto the fan uh, terminal on your capacitor. It'll say FAN on it. Okay. If you don't know which wires are coming from the condenser fan, okay, over to the capacitor, you can actually just look at it, look inside the uh, condenser from up top and trace the wires. So these are the actual wires that come from the condenser fan into this compartment, and obviously these wires would come out when you replace the condenser fan. But if you ever wanted to just trace them out, you can just look at them from, from up top right here. You can always see them from up top. All right, and you can just follow them into the compartment. All right, so you have your yellow goes to common. All right, you trace that out, comes right over to here. All right, then you have your, your black wire, okay, that comes right over to this part of the contactor. And then you're left with your 
brown wire, okay? And the brown wire comes right over to this part of the capacitor, and that's where our new uh, brown wire is going to be, okay? So you should not ever really need to have two capacitors. Just so you know, that's the other condenser that just turned on right next to us. We have the power off to this right now. The 240 volts is off, just so you know and the 24 volts is actually calling because you see the uh, plunger uh, suck down on the contact. But anyway, you should never really see two capacitors inside of a uh, condensing unit like this unless you have a run capacitor and a start capacitor. And the start capacitors are usually black and you'll, you'll be able to tell the difference. The only times that you might need to use two separate capacitors like this uh, would be is if you don't have the correct size dual run capacitor. All right. I hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.